Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. At the start of this week, a few of us uh, got together and cleared out the storerooms up at uh, church. And uh, we were at it all day and we've made good progress. Uh, you'll be glad to know. Uh, things are feeling a lot clearer in there. You can walk in and get to the things that you want to use. You can find things. Uh, and it just, there was, for me, there was something quite liberating coming away from the building at the end of the day, just knowing that that there was space to, to use the storerooms properly. Because actually at the start of the day, it was just cluttered. There was stuff everywhere. And because and because it was cluttered, things couldn't go back properly. And, and the problem just gets worse and worse over time. Every time something comes out, it doesn't quite go back where it should. And you just can't move around the space. And it actually becomes quite hazardous. And it, it limits our ability to, to use things properly. You know, there's some really good things that we that we have that might have been useful. You know, we found some little easels that the art group might have uh, might have enjoyed the use of, but they were buried so far at the back of the space we we had no hope of getting to them. We found some interesting things that we no longer need, and so we've been able to pass those on. But it, it just struck me as we went through the day that you know those storerooms can kind of represent the clutter of our own lives, that, that actually there, there are things that we found in there that we kind of thought, do we do we hold on to this? And, you know, we might want to go back to this at, at, at some point. And, and just as we look at our own lives, there may be things like that where we kind of we look at them and think, mm, I'm not really quite ready to let go of of this thing or that thing. I, I might I might fancy kind of taking a detour back down that road again. I'm not ready to deal with that stuff yet. There are other things that we know we need to get rid of, but but we you know we just find it really hard to part with them. Maybe those, you know, in our lives, maybe it's kind of it's patterns of thinking, ways of responding to stuff that we've just learned over years of lived experience, and we know when we stop and think about it that they those patterns of of thought, those patterns of of responding to things don't necessarily match with Jesus' call on our lives, but we're not, we're not ready to let go of them yet. And so it, it pointed me back to this verse in Hebrews 12, which I, I come back to so often. Uh, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And there's kind of this, so there's two categories of stuff that we might need to kind of clear out mm -hmm. of our lives. There's the everything that hinders. And I think, if I remember rightly, the image behind this is it's kind of like an athlete running with training weights on. You know, imagine kind of a runner dragging a tyre with a rope tied around their, their waist. And actually, it'd be, it'd be silly, wouldn't it, for that athlete to turn up at the Olympics and compete with the tyre still tied onto their their waist. Pulling that extra weight is just going to work against them. It maybe had some benefit. There are things that they could gain from the experience, but they no longer need that. And for us, I think it's that we can learn all sorts of things from our life experience prior to knowing Jesus. Jesus can teach us all kinds of things through that. But that doesn't mean that we should carry on living through those experiences and living in the same way when we do know him. And so it's time to take off those, those weights, to take off the training weights, to untie the rope and to clear ourselves, to liberate ourselves from those things, that we're free to then run the race that Jesus has called us to. So there's the stuff, you know, some of it may be good things that we need to let go of. Most of the stuff in the storeroom had a really good purpose at one point or another. But we, we no longer need them or they're no longer fit for purpose. I mean, I, I can't think that we're going to find much use for the double cassette player uh, to record services. I, I just don't think that's the world we live in anymore. And so it's right and appropriate that we we pass that on and we, we find a new home for it or get rid. And, and then the second category is um, the sin that so easily entangles. So these are things that are, are clearly not good. Things that have have crept in that, that shouldn't be there. And again, all of us 
will have those things. As we've gone through life and we've learned to cope with the world uh, separate to Jesus, we'll have picked up all kinds of mechanisms to respond to the world around us that won't necessarily line up with, with God's way of doing things. And so where we see those things, we need to clear out and we need to change our approach. I don't think we found anything in the storeroom that shouldn't ever have been there. But it is part of this process of just clearing things out. If we we can choose to kind of press on and, and live life with the clutter. And actually it just gets progressively more difficult over time. And we can't find homes for the new things that that actually need to go into the storeroom. You know, one, one of the reasons we, we've done the clearing is because we want to have space for new groups to, to bring in the things that they need so that there is room to grow. So this work is really, really important. We can choose to live with the clutter, but things will just get progressively more difficult. It slows us down, it hinders, it entangles, as the verses say. When actually, if, when we stop and when we we clear things out and we make the space, we're then free to move forward. And so that's the picture I want to leave us with for this week is to kind of imagine your life like the storeroom. Where, where's the clutter? Where do things need tidying away? Where do, where do things need clearing out? And, and also, what is it that you need to be making space for? What is the new thing that you're preparing for so that you can move forward into that with a sense of freedom? Why don't I pray for us? Lord God, thank you that you call us to freedom, that you've called us into this uh, this race of life with with you following Jesus. And yet we're so aware that that our lives can be cluttered, cluttered by good things that just crowd you out and slow us down and hinder us, but also cluttered by sinful things that, that shouldn't be there. Lord, would you help us to see what those things are as we imagine our lives being like the story? God, help us to see the things that we need to tidy away or remove altogether, that we might be ready and free to move forward with you. In Jesus' name. Amen.